I don't think I'm gonna show teeth. It's You're saying kind of a smile. That it's a, kind of that one. <clears throat> I think Claudia has a picture. Claudia. That one? No. There's no one. No. Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> Did you see who that was, my T? <laughs> no fainting. Yes. Or hidden through the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Looks like a regular black guy. <laughs> I thought I had a career that would have can call on at some point. When I took an inventory on the things that I had done and the way that I had done it, it was so unique that it should be can worthy. To me, he checks every box. He had the longevity. He had signature plays. He had the signature play in franchise history. He won a championship. And if you just want to talk about numbers, those numbers on that page are probably convincing enough without all that other stuff for him to be in the Hall of Fame. You look at the position that he played. He changed the position of cornerback, nickelback. Rondé Barber changed the look of that with his run fits. He changed the look of that with his ability to blitz. He changed the look of that with his ability to play inside linebacker. But we're talking about a guy who was willing to do more than most, who had a skill set that was different than most, a guy that had an agenda that was different than most. And I think it's important to be a nickel. <laughs> He could play outside too, but he's one of the greatest nickels in the history of football. I mean, it's not my first rodeo. He'd reached the pinnacle. It's what you play the sport for. And he was a big part of it. And I felt like I shared in that. He can look back on his playing career and be very satisfied. But he's also doing things to help make Tampa a better community. Rondé Barber is Tampa. He is Mr. Buccaneer. I'm not afraid to say so. And I'll back him against Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why there's such a love affair with Rondé Barber, because he kind of never went away. A lot of us did, whether by our choosing or not, but Rondé never did. And I think people, um, they like and respect and appreciate that, that he was, that he always stayed there. I have so many friends and family that have wanted this for me for so long. Not only was my career not just about me, it was about them. I mean, they spent those 16 years rooting for me. Being in the Hall of Fame, I think, for Rondé and I know for our family, it's like being in heaven or winning the lottery because it, you can't ever take it away. He gets to have his dream forever and we can go visit it anytime we want in Canton, Ohio.